Well, tensions are also running high along Israel's northern border with Lebanon. There, the Israeli military has been clashing intermittently with the Hezbollah militia, and fears are growing that the fighting could escalate. The Israeli government has told people living near the border with Lebanon to leave. Haifa, the biggest northern Israeli city, has been preparing for an emergency. DW's Max Tsanda reports. You can see from the floor that this is usually a car park. But now, Professor Michel Halbatal says it's the biggest fortified clinic in the world. Welcome to Rambam Hospital in Haifa. It takes 30 hours to move the more than 2,000 beds and accompanying equipment into place. Each bed is supplied with, with oxygen, right? Vacuum, if you need, air, electricity, and communication. Rambam is the main hospital for the north of Israel. It will not stop working, even in times of military threat. All treatment, including dialysis and surgeries, will continue. The basic idea, if something happens, all the staff, patients, equipment of the hospital are basically coming down. And now that everything is ready, we will be able to do it within eight hours. About 800 patients transfer them over here into the underground, basically deserting the, the hospital above. They have all hygiene facilities, and if cut off from the outside world, the hospital can be completely self-sufficient for three days. They first used this extra space here during the COVID pandemic. Now they need to be ready for rockets from the north. If a hospital will be hit, the morale is affected. And the fact that we are over here and totally protected, it will give a freedom to the decision makers and at the same time for the employees to know that they are safe. Its location gives the hospital its importance. It's not far from the border with Lebanon and treated many people during the 2006 Israel-Lebanon war. It wasn't hit then, but there's a Navy base right next door, so it's a risk. On the road north, you can see the tension. The fear is that Hezbollah might attack from across the border. The authorities warned of an infiltration earlier. We can hear gunfire in the distance. The IDF has told people in border towns like here in Metula to evacuate. We are not allowed in. There has been an exchange of fire between the IDF and Hezbollah in Lebanon over the last couple of days. And worries are that this area could turn into a second front as tensions escalate ahead of an anticipated ground offensive in Gaza. Nerves seem raw in the nearby town of Kiryat Shemona. Many have left, we are told. This is like, like a ghost town. There is no cars. The people are, are in their home. My mother is always in the shelter all the day uh, because the, this, she, this, she scared the, from terrorist attack. This fear of further attack from the north merges with indignation and anger at what Hamas did on October 7th. It is a war inside our own country, in our land. They slaughtered our people, the Jews. They were slaughtered, abused, raped. They did what they wanted. We need to erase them. Young soldiers here in the north are trying to prepare for what might come if the ground assault starts in Gaza and the south.